Well, good morning, y'all. It is uh, the 30th of May today. It's Memorial Day, whatever day. I can't remember if that's 29th or the 30th, but it is Memorial Day today. And if you remember, I planted a bunch of seeds in here uh, to try to see if I can get them to grow um, a few weeks ago or a week ago, and they are growing. Now, what I'm going to do is instead of putting these down in the big old greenhouse down there, I'm going to plant, transplant them back here. And uh, the reason is, is because uh, what I'm going to transplant here is these Romanesco uh, cabbage, they're not cabbage, they're broccoli, Romanesco broccoli or cauliflower. I think it's kind of a toss up whether they're broccoli or cauliflower. But they're Romanesco and uh, they're like a broccoli or cauliflower. They like to grow in cooler weather. This greenhouse, even though it faces directly south, for the size it has the best ventilation and cooling system of any of the other greenhouses I have. So I'm going to be planting these in here because these are a cool weather crop and uh, summer's coming on and it's going to be getting hot so you want to give them a chance to grow in here. But let me show you what's happened here. What we did was from here over, that's all Romanesco cauliflower or whatever, cauliflower or broccoli. Now I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine of those, and I've got to thin them out. But usually what I do is I thin them out and let them go. But this time I'm just gonna put them where they belong in the floating raft and start letting them go. And the bigger one I'm gonna pull it out later and thin it out that way. And here's the raft over here. As you can see, this is one of my floating raft systems, and um, this one is a. Uh, totally uh, self-contained in that there's a fish tank down there and uh, then it just flows from you know here down 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 it's kind of crude but it works pretty good so anyway what I'm going to do is transplant these over here so this is how you do it you just take this guy right here and see there actually is some roots coming out of there like I said there might be and you drop it right there and you say, there you are, fella. There you go. And let's take this other one. Let's see here. Yeah, there's even a root on that one. Look at that. There we go. See, there's a root coming out on that one. Drop it out. So let me plant the rest of these. And I'll show you when I get them all moved. Okay, there we go. And uh, we'll let them uh, sit in there for a little while and see how they do. And uh, looks to me like they're happy. But, you know, how do you know? And that's the only way to tell is... Let them sit in there for a few days and see if they start to thrive. If not, then they're not happy. You know, I'm almost tempted to pull some of these out and, and uh, separate them and transplant them because I've got five, six holes or five holes here that have nothing in them. And, uh, well, I don't know. I think we'll leave it. At, leave it. Leave it as it is. But anyway, there you go. You can see right here. There they are, right there. And they're actually doing quite well. They, uh, all of them, you know, took to, I guess I'll call it transplanting, but, uh, never came out of the cup. Well, some of them I did split, but you see, there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine in there, and they're all doing well. So this is a, a good way to start them and then move them out into the hydroponic, aquaponic world. So, Anyway, we're going to do some more here pretty soon. Fill this up, and you can see the goldfish in there. Oh well. Anyway, that's it for today. Well, hello. It is July the 13th today, I think, uh, 2017. Anyway, I thought I'd give you a little update on how the Romanesco broccoli, I guess it is, how it's doing. Uh, I've been a little busy with some family matters, so I haven't been able to do an update for a little bit. Uh, but anyway, there it is. Let me get a, let me grab a hold of the camera here and get a little closer to this to show you how it's doing. Now, here it is. As you can see, it's growing quite well. It likes life in here. And what this is, as you can see the water flowing down here, this is a raft, floating raft type system. And uh, it seems they seem to like this quite well. By the way, there's a stray tomato plant in there. 
but see they're doing quite well and the water comes from this tank down there that's got goldfish in it now so it's an aquaponic system and uh, they seem to like this quite a lot now just a little bit about this aquaponic system uh, for one thing the environment in here is it's quite cool for uh, my greenhouses. I'm looking at the thermometer over there and it's it's about 78 degrees in here right now. I've got a nice big swamp cooler up there and this is actually a small place, a small uh, room so to speak. And uh, so I'm not having any, uh, well the environment, let's put it that way, the environment as far as greenhouse goes is pretty much ideal in this place. But uh, as you can see the Romanesco is taking to it and it's doing quite well. So what we'll do is I'm going to let that grow another two weeks or a month or something like that and we'll have another update and I think looking at how things look right now we'll probably get a harvest off of this. So be watching. <laughs> it's going to be about a month probably. I don't know how much longer it takes. I think broccoli in general it takes a little while to, uh, it's, not a, it's not a fast crop, let's put it that way. You know, lettuce, 30 days, 60 days, you got lettuce from seed. This, I think, is a little bit longer than that. So, here we go, it's doing well, it's doing uh, very nice. I'm, I'm uh, very pleased with it. So, see you in about a month on the Romanesco Rock.